Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name, Sheep's the game. And what are we doing today? We're going to put some rams out, but not just a simple job of kicking them out this trailer. We need to get them on this boat and get them to the shants. Our journey to the Shants starts from the pier on Scalpy, which is a small island next to Harris in the Outer Hebrides. We have eight rams to take with us today, and they need a little bit of persuasion to jump aboard the Maranatha, which is usually a commercial fishing boat, but today it's on a different kind of mission. The island used to be populated with Scottish black face sheep, but over recent years the team have moved more towards the North Country Cheviot breed. They believe it is better suited to the tricky terrain of the islands and is less likely to go wandering into danger. We set off in heavy rain and choppy water and as many of you know, I wasn't built for the sea. I forced down my breakfast roll but can't quite manage the coffee. I do manage to keep it together for long enough to reach the shants and when I see the islands up close, my seasickness is instantly forgotten. They are stunning. I've been here before, but it still has that wow factor. The three main islands of the Shants are grassy and fertile, but the steep slopes and granite cliffs make them difficult to navigate, and getting ashore can be near impossible in rough seas. The boys head off to find a safe place for landing, and the banter is flowing already. Scottish Government should charter you, though, you'll go in any weather. This is a government subsidise. And return to tell us that the back side of the island is more sheltered. Other side. Oh, we're just going around the back just now to see if we can find somewhere a bit more sheltered where we can uh, get the tubs ashore. Because at the moment, just in front of the house there, there's just a bit too much motion for getting the boat alongside. And we make our way round to the other side of Garifalan, which means rough island in Gaelic, appropriately named, I think you'll agree, and we see some wildlife en route. So I'm heading ashore first here to get set up, we're going to get this drone in the sky. It is wet though, hopefully if it crashes into the ocean we'll at least get it on camera so we can laugh about it together. Let's see. And I, and I wasn't sick, by the way. That was quite good as well. Right, cheers, lads. See you in the spring. Oh, don't slip, you said. Rocks are slippy. Don't slip. I've not got a helmet on. The rain stays off long enough to get the drone in the sky. And the first thing I do is take this, what I imagine is a sort of Jurassic Park type drone shot of the incredible cliffs of Garafalan and then these beautiful views over the top. Now while I'm safely planted on dry land, it's up to the team back in the boat to get the rams loaded. And as you can see, it's a very physical job. These rams will weigh somewhere between 80 and 100 kilos, not to mention the fact they are wild hill sheep and if they're given the chance, they may just jump overboard which wouldn't be ideal trying to haul them out of the sea. So, two on the boat, two on the rib. The guys expertly manhandle the sheep over the side and into the pen. After they have their chosen rams for this island, it's time to get them on dry land. Whilst cowboy music does seem very appropriate for this mission, let's cut the music and enjoy the natural sounds of these rams getting onto dry land. Well, 
Now of course there is no audio with the drone, which is why we're doing some of these voiceovers with a little bit of background music playing. I'm not sure if it works, but we're trying it anyway. The team start trying to work the rams up the hill towards the females, because although they'll find them eventually, it is quite a big island and it may take two or three days till they bump into each other. I stay at the bottom to play with the drone, but it does mean we get these fantastic shots of the rams getting used to the terrain of their new home. I would say looking at them that they're a little bit shaken up by the boat ride, much like myself. So the team decide to leave them to settle and hope that the girls, a little bit further up the hill, will sniff them out. What are you doing here, Benji? What's the plan here? Oh, we're just taking this ashore. Uh, it's obviously come washed up. Um, so we'll take it ashore with us today when we go back in and we'll just put it to the skip and yep. dispose of it. And, and a wee bit of a beach clean up just when we come out. If we see any rubbish lying around, we just take it home with us. I take it this will be part of your whole application for a knighthood. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great to see. I hope you're getting it all on video. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Prince Charles, or King Charles rather, he's a big follower of the sheep game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and look at this fresh born seal pup. That's a rare sight. Then it's back to the heavy lifting. Not for me, of course, because someone has to hold the camera. But I'm there if they need me, with a helping hand. Worked out as a good seat, that. It's got a handlebar. Seriously though, how good is this footage? These island men working hard, the steep backdrops of the cliffs of the shants, and the bright colours of their lovely jackets. Throw on the fishing board, in case you get a fish. Throw it, throw it round. Cammy needs one to take back to Kilmarnock. <laughs> All this effort just for a bit of shant lamb. Aye, aye. Orange on the shoulder and green bum, yep. Healthy animals. Benji, why are you putting spray on the tops? It's just so we can pick them out a little bit easier when we come back out in the winter time. Or later on in the winter when the, the season's over. And uh, just hopefully so we can pick them out a bit easier amongst yeah. all the sheep. No, certainly not doing it in case they mix with anyone else's sheep. Ah, no, we, <laughs> we don't have that problem here, so it's just for ourselves, really. So you can spot them? So yep. we can spot them, yep. yeah. Where are we heading just now? At the moment, we're just leaving the Garavilan, and we're heading round to the house island to put the last three rams ashore there. But we're uh, going to take a wee bit of a shortcut. The weather's not the best. It's going to be a wee bit of a spray as we go round, but the man at the helm there is wanting to uh, go through the natural arch, which is uh, exactly that. So we'll take the wee shock it. It'll be good for you to get it on video as we go through. Yep. And uh, hopefully uh, get a lot of thumbs up from the viewers. <laughs> you sell right things. <laughs> Here we go. Don't do things last in Ayrshire. No, this is a bit different from, uh, from Kilmarnock, all right. At least it'll be dry in here. <laughs> Aye. Hello! 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 So there's the ones we just put ashore, just up there. They're just settling in. Hopefully the sheep will come back down to them shortly. Ah, oh, they'll be all right there. They'll have a bit of work to do to get these girls up here. I think there have been a wee bit seasick some of these tups because they're, like, they're just sitting down. Ah, yeah, I see that. Ah, it'd take a minute to go over the, the shock it. I don't know, do sheep get seasick, do you think? Ah, oh, must they. Of course they do, do they? Oh, looks like it was. <laughs> <laughs> Doll lands us safely on House Island, and once the rams get ashore and get over their seasickness, they'll be straight to work. Shh. 
So this is the house island, obviously with a house on it. It's got a slightly better set up here. We've got a proper fank at the back of the house and uh, a holding pen so we gather in the sheep for clipping. And uh, hopefully we'll do something similar on Garave land. The, the fencing material's there, but we just haven't had a chance to do it yet. But hopefully in the spring, when we come out of the lambing time, we'll try and get a proper setup over there as well. Who stays in the house? The house is actually um, you can book the house if you go onto the Shantz website you speak to Tom Nicholson um, if you wanted to stay in it. It's very much classed as a, a bothy open door all year and most people that come here put their head in to have a look and sign the visitor's book. Good chance for you to do that I just need now. To do it. I didn't get here last time yet. No. Defending itself. Will not stress you too much wee pal. But even quite sad seeing it sitting with a bottle of water. Unless, of course, it brought it with it, then that's fair enough. Maybe seal pup. That's the closest I've ever been to a seal. Without a doubt. I'm not stressing you. Where's mum? Mum's over there. Look. We're, we're just causing stress here, so I'll leave you to it. Thanks for being patient. Oh, maybe that's mum there. Oh, sorry, mum. Oh, no. Oh, jeez, there's loads of them. Look. That'll be somebody else's mum. Sorry guys. Oh jeez, there's loads of them out here as well. We'll leave you to it. I was loving my time here on the Shants and getting the drone into the sky and up close and personal with these fantastic sheep that live here all year round was definitely a highlight for me. I managed to capture some fantastic shots before we had to head back to the boat. There was a storm coming. Nobody panic, we made it back in time for lunch. Can I wee look behind the scenes here? That lunch? Are we? Fresh caught? Yeah. 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 West Coast prawns. No, scalpy prawns. Scalpy prawns. Yeah, scalpy prawns. Can't even be before the boys get them. Yeah. Don't be wrong. I'll be spewing them up in 10 minutes, but they're not. <laughs> you won't beat the board. They're nice going down and they're easy brought back up. <laughs> okay, so the weather is coming in really bad here, sheep fans. That's us for this one. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a fantastic day with the team. So far, I better add, because it's about to get really choppy and horrible on the way home. But if you're seeing this video, I must have made it. See you for the next one. The sea was insane on the way home. The sea was terrible. The sea was terrible on the way home. And even these experienced boys said it was the worst crossing they had ever done. And it was certainly too much for me, as you're about to see. That's us folks, 
We made it. Well, kind of. <laughs>